So we have been renovating every single apartment in The Sims 4 world of Sam Aishino. That's the world that came with The Sims 4 City Living and we are up to our second last apartment. I cannot believe we've renovated almost everything. I kind of wanted it to never end. Today I thought we should go for a Pinterest pink blush inspired apartment. Just cause I feel like a bit of pink today. Even though I'm in blue, I just feel like Pinterest pinky blush. So not like pink as in a dollhouse apartment where everything's baby pink, but there's going to be pinky tones with neutrals. Basically what is trending on Pinterest right now, that's what I want this apartment to look like. But we're not using any custom content, so this is gonna be a bit of a challenge, I think. So like I said, we're up to our second last apartment and then I'll share this save file for you guys once we've finished so you can download everything. We're up to Alto Apartments. We've done this apartment right here, which I think was quite a sophist apartment, sophisticated. So their neighbor is going to have a much more fun looking apartment. This apartment is described as having huge floor to ceiling windows combined with a beautiful feature fireplace and a striking view of the spice market neighborhood makes this apartment an unforgettable home. The trait and challenges is that it has a romantic fireplace. A flirty vibe radiates from the beautiful fireplace in this apartment. The landlord won't allow this fireplace to be removed or sold. So in other words, we're basically stuck with the fireplace. So let us check it out. Let's see what we're working with today and let's see if this fireplace looks decent. I mean, the first thing that I think is that this apartment is so dark for the amount of windows it has. We definitely want to brighten all of this up. And that's going to be easy because just by changing these lights to one of the lightest and brightest items in the game, the super subtle source of light, this just gives us so much more light if we place multiple ones. And then once we change all the colors and make it like light pinks and creams and all of those colors we want to work with, brighten up the flooring. I think this is going to be such a beautiful apartment. I actually don't mind the existing floor plan. I like how the kitchen is kind of an open plan. It's interesting how there's like a lounge room and a dining room here and then another lounge room here. I mean this this I feel like we should change because I don't know about you but this activity table with the outdoor chairs isn't really impressing me much especially with this poster as well and this rug. It's an absolute mess. And I'm pretty sure the Sim who used to live here is meant to be like an art critic. I have a bit of criticism for his furnishing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna change all of this, but the general floor plan's pretty good. I think this bathroom could be reduced. Oh wait, we forgot to look at the fireplace. So this is the fireplace we can't move. If you hover over it, the tooltip says it's in the mood. It's actually not that bad. I think this will work fine for us. It's quite a nice fireplace. And then this fireplace is one that we can move around. Ooh, cheeky. Looks like a window was removed. This is a gym in here. I think I accidentally, oh, it was probably me that accidentally deleted that window because I was playing around with the gym area a little bit, but it kind of looked like this more or less originally. Huge bedroom and walk-in wa Oh my gosh, this wardrobe is so sad looking. Imagine having this massive wardrobe that you have this much space in it. That is so sad. I'm actually thinking that we should add a second bedroom into this house because I just, this bathroom is so big, this wardrobe is so big, this bedroom is so big and such a weird shape. We can definitely make better use of this space. You know what we could probably do? We could probably add two more bedrooms. Maybe use one as an office, but if you wanted to play in this apartment, you could use it as a third bedroom. But I reckon we got enough space for three. Okay, well, first up, let's start bulldozing some of this furniture. Okay, let's be honest. Basically all of the furniture. Sometimes in our other apartment renovations, if you wanna watch them, they're basically all in one playlist, more or less. Sometimes we actually keep a lot of the existing furniture depending on the house. But other times, if it's not fitting the vibe, that we're going for, we just we just get rid of all of it. I mean, if a sim can afford this apartment, they've probably got so much money. They could just gut the whole thing and start again. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, to be that rich, to be able to like do that in real life would be so good. Sims in real life kind of money. Motherload IRL money. But luckily we can do that in The Sims. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys were saying in our last apartment renovation that we can change the windows. 
And you guys were like, why don't you add more windows? But we kind of want it to be a little bit realistic. Because if you change the windows, it won't suit the rest of the apartment building. Like if we start taking out windows or put in different ones, this level of the building is gonna look really, really strange. So that's why I just try and keep it like the same as every other level, which reminds me we need a window there. Are we missing any other windows? No, I think that looks okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put in some more lights. You know what? We should make these gold lights because gold is very Pinterest right now. Gold hardware. At least all over my Pinterest, it's like there's still so much gold hardware in kitchens and bathrooms. And it definitely goes with our pink chic theme. Wow, I just realized how massive this apartment is. Okay, I know the lights are kind of all over the place, but we will even them up more once we figure out our floor plan. Speaking of floor plan, let's just go with a lighter wood for now. Oh, we could use one of the newer floor tiles. I wish we had some terrazzo Max's floor tiles or crazy pavement because that's very trendy right now. That's very Pinterest. We could go this one because this is a newer one. I'm not that huge on this tiny little gap where the Sims can walk through. So I'm thinking of extending this a little bit or taking it back a bit. Maybe we could do a little pillar moment here and then do a built-in bookshelf in this gap. I know it doesn't line up perfectly with the door, but I think we can offset that by having like a little wall here and a side table maybe. I think we can make it work. What do we wanna just like wall off? this whole chunk. I, I like that being more straight. I love this little bathroom here. We will keep this. Need to get some different doors. Dream home decorator doors are probably my go-to for a modern house, just because they're the most plain and contemporary looking. But the door that I wish I could use is this eco lifestyle one, but you know why I can't use it? Because on the other side, they have this metal frame and it just gets in the way of furnishing sometimes. It's not so bad on this side of the wall, but if it's on the inner side of the wall, like just doesn't look very realistic. It looks like a front door instead of an inside door. So that's why we're not gonna use that. This could be cool as more of a dividing wall. We could use the windows from Island Living, which has a beautiful linen looking texture on it. This one. Oh, it's from Eco Lifestyle, my bad. We could use one of these. Oh, there's one with flowers on it. And yeah, this could be like a divider so you can see through to the different rooms. And then it feels a little less closed in. And then yeah, this could be our dining room. You know, I'm even thinking of putting a wall here and then having a nice big archway. Because if we put an archway here, pull this wall back. And I don't mind the frame around this archway because it won't be in the way of items in the hallway. Then we can have our kitchen area in here. So it's like open plan kitchen to dining. We could do a wall here. Then just roughly speaking, we can have, you know, kitchen counters across here. And I know I always use these kitchen counters, but they're the best. They look the cutest. And then we can have a really lovely, big, generous kitchen bench here. Yeah, maybe we move it down a smidge. This won't be necessarily the final furniture that we pick and definitely not our final swatches. But I'm just gonna place a couple of things to get an idea of if we have enough space with our floor plan. Then we could have the dining table in line with this fireplace. Maybe even a circular dining table could look good. Do we have any nice circular ones? I mean, this is kind of Pinterest looking. Could be a, to tie in with the fireplace, yeah. And then we could maybe even have the original piano that was here, which I did delete, but we can we can grab it again. Well, oh no, it wasn't that one. That one's very fancy. That one's even more fancy. I can't believe this grand piano costs only 1,400 simoleons. In real life, I feel like this, not that I'm in the piano business, but I feel like this would cost over $10,000 in real life. But yet in the game, we have a $15,000 violin. You gotta love that Sims pricing. Can we bulldoze this wall? No. Okay, so we can fit that in there as well. I 
You know, I think this is going to work very nicely. Yeah, I'm really not sure about all of these colors I'm picking, but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Then for the lounge room, I suppose we would put the TV over on this wall and then we could have another fireplace on this wall and do something along these lines. And then what could we put over here? I mean, this could be a study nook, you know, something like that over in that corner. Okay, then we have a really long hallway. This could be broken up a little bit. By again, working with this idea, we can have bookshelves in between wall sections. And then it just makes the space look like it's being used a little bit more effectively. These shelves that came with growing together, I use them so much. They're just a handy shelf. Okay, so potentially we could do something like that. Oh, it'd be nice to have taller shelves in this section, like floor to ceiling. Where are my tall modern shelves at? Do we even have any for this particular wall height? I know we have this one from Seasons, but the problem with this is that there's no alternative swatches with different items on it. So if we wanna place it twice, it's gonna have the same decor on it. And that just bothers me. I don't know if it bothers you guys, but it definitely bothers me. So we can't do that. I'm sorry. Oh, I guess we could lift up this one. I mean, this one has the same book decor, but it's a little less noticeable because it's just books. Let's let's deal with that a little bit later. We have time to deal with that. Okay, now this is the tricky part, I feel, because we've got to figure out what to do with all of this space. This is a lot of space. This could definitely be our third bedroom slash office. Although now that we've got a bit of an office nook over here, we could turn it into something else. Not entirely sure yet. Maybe we could pretend that a Sim living here is an upcoming actress or a, a socialite, a musician, entertainer. So they could have a wardrobe and styling room or something in here. Okay, so this will be a bathroom. I'm going to mark out the bathrooms with this tile. This already looks like another bedroom in here. So let's just go with the flow with that. And then we'll take out this wall. Because this is not gonna all be one bedroom and a gym that you can only access through walking through one bedroom. That just seems impractical. It is kind of tricky though, because we've got this really weird shape. I so badly wish this this wall came back all the way to here, <laughs> but it doesn't. We could totally have a sauna in the gym area. An apartment like this, I feel would have a sauna. And also because there's no windows up this end, we should probably just put a sauna and a toilet up here. Otherwise it would be a basketball court or a bowling alley or something. Which sauna do we want? Do we want a wooden one or a stone one? Let's go the wood theme. We could have our sauna here. And then this could be a bathroom, a gym shower bathroom. Make sure we've got plenty of light here. The sauna doesn't need to be too bright because saunas feel more damp and calm. Do we want the same kind of door to the sauna? What about this one? This looks like sauna vibes. Maybe we just run the corridor. I know it's a little bit awkward. I know it's not ideal, but we are a bit restricted because I just don't want Sims to have to go through the main bedroom to get to the gym and sauna. Imagine if you lived in this house with your family and you had to go through your pants room. It doesn't make sense. It's not practical. I just rather have the awkward hallway. Okay, we might have to rethink my shelving sections and just go with something more like that. We could have a nice big bathroom in here. So this will be the main bedroom. A double wardrobe here, we'll do a built-in wardrobe. We so badly need more built-in wardrobes. I've said this for quite some time now. We really need more. Let's do some placement beds in each of these rooms just to get an idea of size. Maybe this one can go that way. It's very magazine slash Pinterest to have an ottoman at the end of your bed. So let's, let's put Ottomans here and here. Also, these bedrooms don't actually have a built-in wardrobe. Didn't think of that. I guess we could go like that and put the wardrobe just here near the door, but that seems a little awkward, doesn't it? Or do we just kind of pop one here? You know, I actually don't mind that because it gives a little bit more structure to the room and then it means we can put a desk in the corner here. And it'll look like it has a little home. You see how it just fits in nicely here? Like a puzzle piece. And then we can put one in this room too. Maybe I will just decorate it as three bedrooms because I'm kind of wanting to make these rooms matching but color coordinated. I think that'll be cute. Okay, then we've got the bathroom here. Oh, there's no door to this bathroom. Slightly problematic. Good door there. 
The lighting's really pretty right now, isn't it? Okay, and then we've got this big gym area, which you could turn it into a home studio if you wanted. You could keep it as a gym. You could turn that into a fourth bedroom. It's a very versatile room. What kind of door do we want? I mean, that is kind of the vibe going to the gym. I feel like, actually no, maybe we should match the main bedroom and the gym with a nice double door. Whoa, that's a that's a big door. This one's quite fancy. Again, it kind of looks a little bit like a front door. Oh, okay, we'll just go regular door to the bedroom and then a glass door to the gym. Let's make this sauna a little more damp and moody and calming. I love the light that came with this fitness stuff pack because it looks like a natural stone and it's just a really subtle light. So it's really nice for darker rooms that you want to look really calm. Perfect. And while we're in here, we'll get some towels. I've heard in Sweden, it's really common to have a sauna in your house. Is that actually true? Because that would be such a luxury in Australia. Like that's what usually someone who's very wealthy might have with their home gym and all of that. Isn't it fascinating how different cultures can be all around the world? Maybe we need like a fern plant in here. What would look like it could grow in a sauna? Maybe something like this, I'll size this down maybe lift it up. I don't know how realistic this would be, but in my mind it would work. <laughs> okay, and for the bathrooms, sometimes I just quickly throw in a toilet into each of the bathrooms and some toilet paper and a shower because usually in a brand new home, you would use more or less the same fittings. So we'll get a nice gold toilet roll. Bam, bam. And you can hold down shift if you want to place an item multiple times without having to reselect it every time. And then we'll get a nice shower, maybe this one from the Sims 444 Rant Rants. And then a basin. Oh, I'm not really sure what basin we want. The growing together one's quite good because it does have options with gold hardware, which I think is very Pinterest. So perhaps we should go for that. Seems like a, a good option for us, but hey, we can always change it. Okay, and then obviously some of these bathrooms might have a bathtub, but we'll place that when we get to it. All righty. And that's basically the general idea for our floor plan. I like it. You guys, what do you think? We're all done. No, I'm kidding. We're not all done. We've only just begun. I think next up, we need to figure out what kind of feature walls we want to have, what colors we want to use. Okay, so I've been working on our kitchen a little bit. I wanted to use crazy pavement. This is crazy pavement where it's broken up into lots of different size squares. And this one, the first watch is like this. So it looks like just a backyard pavement. But in the lighter color, it kind of works. I mean, I'd prefer it if the grout was white. Actually, I'd love this version, but with like a gray grout. I don't know, I, I really want to see more modern pavement styles and more modern tiles in the game. That would be really cool. If this one could be updated and recolored, that would be sweet as well. But anyway, I think this will work. And then I was thinking of using a combination of this herringbone pattern, and then we can match this blush pink by doing a similar wall color. So that brings in the pink I was talking about. But it's really interesting because my Pinterest timeline is this really unique mix of like, japan -D style, so Japanese and Scandinavian interior design blended. Bright pastel colors, but then it's got this like wabi-sabi mix into it, which wabi-sabi is a Japanese movement that, which I mean, I guess it fits into japan -D style, but it focuses more on like celebrating imperfection and using organic materials. So it's a really cool time right now for interior design. I think it's it's an awesome time to be alive for interior design. And of course you got the influence of like the 60s and the 70s. Yeah, I thought maybe this table, part of me wants to do like a, a yellow table, but I think to fit more into our Pinterest theme. I mean, everyone's Pinterest looks a little different. I'm gonna go with this. Then we have our fireplace right here. Do we wanna do a little fluorescent lighting or is that, I mean, it's cute I don't know if we need it though. And I don't know what to do over here because originally we had the piano, but the piano kind of looks a little odd. And it's like, what else would we put here? Maybe we should just 
have the piano. Otherwise we could do a bar. I mean, we could just put a whole heap of leafy plants, you know, to blend it in a bit. Maybe we could even do, oh no, we can't fit a window there. Oh, you know what we need? We need curtains. Let's do these cause, and they come in pink blush color. Well, cause we've already got blush in here. Should we maybe just do the, I think we should just do the white. We can maybe do the blush in the lounge room. Oh, that the lighting looks so pretty and this looks so pretty with this flooring, don't you think? Okay, now I feel like we need to pull this in. <laughs> kind of a bit of a shame. When in doubt, pop in a fiddle leaf fig. It'll make everything better. Those curtains just make this room look so good. We could even give the illusion of there being more window, even though there isn't, by placing more curtain. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I kind of like the idea. There's less empty space. And maybe we do like a rug under the piano that's a natural fiber. One of these. Mm. The texture on that one frustrates me a little bit. What about this? Green goes with pink. Oh, what about the furry rug sized up? Because it's in a regular shape. Sometimes rectangular rugs look a little odd under a curvy object like a piano. So you need either a circle rug or something with organic curves like the piano. What is this? Not quite the right color. This is the one I was thinking of. Furry rug in brown. Ooh, yes. Or green. Both look nice. Or gray. Gray ties in with the wall. Or maybe this. It kind of matches the stools so we can go like that is that too big i like it maybe the table doesn't have to be directly in front of the fireplace and you know what else we need we need lighting. I'm actually really excited with how this is turning out. Also, don't mind the room next door. I kind of went crazy and got all the objects out of the catalog that I felt vibed with our project today. So there's tons of stuff everywhere. Okay, so these are a bit trendy. This is obviously very trendy, that light. I actually think these lights are really cool. These were just from get to work. They're just not great with this ceiling height. Like if this came lower down, it would be perfect. Uh, these are a little too industrial. Oh, here we go. Now this, this adds a little bit of glam, a little bit of glam factor. We could go for that. Oh, this is nice because it ties into the pink. Guys, we have so many options. Oh, there's these. These are very, very on, on brand. Oh, they even have gold. Oh gosh. Well, what looks best in The Sims? I actually, I think I like these the most. They're pretty low. <laughs> Let's go this over the dining table and then we could do this center hanging rack in the timber. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now I wanna try and incorporate some gold into this kitchen with starting with a sink. Let's try and get a gold sink in here. Very Pinterest. Safety first with a smoke alarm. Ooh, we need a bin. Actually, our bin could go in this corner. I always just go this standard bin. I'm gonna put it right here. I mean, we could have really done with a golden bin. And then for a stove, I think we should just use the one that goes with this kitchen because it just looks so good. You just can't go wrong, can you? We have the gold range hood as well. I feel like there's too many knives here. It looks like these Sims are in the villain career, <laughs> potentially. Love the recipe book, so cute. We can have some plates ready to go, like the already started cooking in the kitchen. We'll make it look a little homely. Ooh, and we'll get this because it's got gold on it. So it looks like a fancy kettle. Also, I never have rugs in the kitchen just because I drop so much food. I, the rug would end up being unwashable. But I hear a lot of you guys have rugs in your kitchen because it's softer on your feet. So why don't we put um, a rug in the kitchen for you guys who like kitchen rugs? There you go. You know the other thing I see a lot on Pinterest? Super impractical kitchens. The kitchens are so minimal and so beautiful looking. There's not a whole lot of storage. And I dream of having that kitchen and then I'm like, oh my God, where would I put my stuff though? I guess it works if there's, if it's a really big kitchen, you can have be quite minimal because you have obviously enough space to add cupboards and things, or you might even have a butler's pantry. I wonder if I can size this down and make a little uh, decorative corner over here. And maybe we can intersect these objects so it looks like the plants are growing out of these wood planks or wood boxes. I just rise that up using my nine key. Does it look like it's just sitting on top or in the box? This one just sits above. It doesn't really look like it's growing out of the box.
For the entrance room, let's go with a base game rug because I love that this brown ties in perfectly with this wall over here. And maybe we can reuse this and get a nice picture up here. Are there any good swatches here that we can use potentially? Hmm. Maybe not. I mean, maybe we just use this one. These types of tables are all the rage right now. Actually, I realized uh, Kmart and Target have started selling affordable versions. So if you're looking for one in Australia, they have these kinds of shelving units there now. It's so funny because Kmart in the US is no longer a thing, but in Australia, Kmart overtook Target. So now Kmart stuff is sold in Target because Target didn't perform as well. I'm pretty sure in the US, Target's like all the rage and then Kmart just did not perform. They tried to make Starbucks happen in Australia. It, it's kind of happening, like there are a few Starbucks around, but it's not like crazy popular here, like it is in the US and in other countries in the world. Australians really like their uh, more Italian espresso, I think, like the traditional coffee style, not the Starbucks style. We can use more of these stone lights around the house. That definitely is giving me wabi-sabi kind of vibe. Then what can we put over on these shelves? I put these shelves here, but I have no idea what to actually put on them. We can do incense, Swedish llama thing. We can do a big one and a baby one. <laughs> That's so cute. And then honestly, anything that can fit on this lower shelf would be great. Why are EA shelving slots the worst? Custom content is so much easier because everything fits everywhere. Okay, that'll do. And then it just is asking for a mirror, isn't it? It just wants, oh, but we've got a mirror over on this side. So maybe just a really cool art piece. I mean, that's pretty cool. For the bathrooms, maybe we just go with the crazy pavement, gold accents like we've been doing and gray walls to tie into the pavement and just keep those quite simple. I mean, we don't really need a shower in this one. And then if we want an accent wall, then we can do, I mean, either this one we've been using or we could do the book nook kit wooden wall. This one, which is really nice, simple panels. I do like that. I don't know if everyone will like the look of this hallway, but even though I said I wanted this apartment to be a lot lighter and brighter, I'm kind of digging the mood lighting. I really love this uh, blue colored wall for the main bedroom. Very light and bright and breezy. Oh, I just realized we have a problem here. This wall intersects the window. So I think we'll have to bump that out like this. And maybe in the gym area, this could be a nice uh, spot for drinks or something. Okay, and then this can be the ensuite, which gives us a little less room in the main bedroom, but I think it's still, you know, big enough. It definitely has a bit of a coastal feel about it. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this painting. Now this room could look really good with this rug in this colorway. Oh, perfection. I think we need our little pop of gold in here. We can even put this cushion on top of the ottoman. That looks good. And then that has a little bit of gold in it too. Okay, what do you think? Do you think this is just a nice, simple bedroom? I like the simplicity of it, but I wonder if some of you guys will be like, it's so empty. I don't mind it though. The main bathroom should probably have a bathtub because we love a bathtub. People love a bath next to the window. As long as there is a curtain, I think that works. And I really, I say this every build, but I'm not happy with any of these basins in bathrooms. They just don't work. So maybe we should just do a double basin here, just like that. I'm using my nine key and holding down control to lift up these towels. And then they can sit on this little side table here. I'm not sure how well this would work. The curves are very in right now. Lots of curves. We could do like an arched. I feel like the Sims won't be able to use this, but it's a cute idea. I mean, if worse came to worse, we could just do one and then that would probably work. But we can try to. I mean, we can probably squeeze in a shower as well. Oh, you know what we should do? Instead of doing these in here, we should put the shower in here and some kind of stone wall. Dang, I wish we had this flooring as a stone wall. I like the idea of having a little drink area for the gym. Is that kind of too much, both patterns? Mm, it's maybe a little bit intense. 
We'll go green. We'll do the green. Get an end cabinet. So there's a little gap next to our window and a little coffee or blender up there. And then hopefully the Sims won't walk all the way down to this end of their house to wash things. <laughs> it is possible they will do that. It's amazing when you put these curtains in, just how much better the room looks. I would buy a Desert Lux pack just for those curtains because you know me, I use them all the time. Put a nice, uh, no, not a tea maker. We need, we need coffee. Why do I keep grabbing tea? Coffee, 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 coffee. There we go. We got our little juice station. I thought this could be nice on the wall. It ties in with the green over there. It's gonna be a gym with a slight yoga vibe. I'll grab my handy dandy school, the uh, school stool. I always dream about school. I think everyone does. Isn't that interesting? Like, I wonder why. Is it just because it's so ingrained in our psyche? That's what we think about a lot. I have no idea. Some sneakers over there. Okay, now where's our gym equipment? It is kind of funny how much gym stuff we have in The Sims 4. Like we have so many versions of a lot of the same things. Ooh, green. Matchy matchy. Is it too matchy? I think we need the cork. Cork is, oh, but that looks beautiful. That was a very honest reaction. Like, oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. <gasps> Actually, we have kind of a cork flooring available. Where is that cork flooring? Is it just in wood? Yeah, this chipper. Whoa, what's happening? Chipper tambark. I mean, you could potentially do like a cork theme and do like a treadmill on here. Or oh, I don't know. I I'm actually, I don't think I like that. But the idea is kind of cool. For a gym, there's actually not that much stuff in here. Um, I thought I would fit a lot more in. <laughs> I have. This can fit against this wall. Oh wow, that comes in green, but it's not really the right kind of green. Let's just go with it in black. Big weight machine, this one. Just have some black gym stuff and got our cork mat here. Oh, and then of course, we're gonna need a little bit of music in here. I mean, me personally, I always need to have something on, whether it be a podcast or music. I personally need something. So let's Put this in the corner. Maybe this should be a different color. We do the green. That's a pretty color. Doesn't really go with our scheme though. Oh, the yellow is actually a lot of fun. The peach. I do like the bright colors, but I think I'll just go gray because it, again, it ties in with everything we've already worked on. So let's do that. There's our gym. We've got our gym bathroom in here. Sauna, lovely. This is the longest corridor ever. If only there were windows on, on this side of the house. It would have made life a lot easier. But we're just gonna have a long corridor, okay? All right, so we've just got these two rooms, which again, I just dumped a lot of stuff in here, but I've kind of started color coordinating them. Maybe twins could live in this house or just two kids. Yeah, I just thought it was a bit cute. We've got a bit of a yellow and purple theme in this one. I've seen a few people put ottomans next to their bed. I don't know if I would, I mean, I know this would not suit me because I like to put things next to my bed and I feel like I would like a hard surface to put things on and a drawer to store things in like books and whatnot. But I have seen a few people, they have a pendant light next to their bed and just an ottoman like that. But I guess it depends on what, what stuff you need at night. I think we'll do some bedside tables. I need some curtains in here. The light coming through the window is beautiful, but this is a really cool table but the shape gets me sometimes. I think we've used that table a lot already. This one comes in a great purple color and I'm gonna use the book nut at least on one side and then maybe the other side we can do the Ottoman. How's about that? Really loving this lamp today. Who am I kidding? I love this lamp every day. And this rug, I wasn't actually, I had just dumped this rug in the room. I didn't actually think I would like it in that yellow d default swatch, but you know what? That's quite cute. Or there's this. This is the swatch I was originally thinking of, but I love the yellow. Sometimes you just gotta live a little, you know? And then I thought this looked nice and youthful and sweet. I mean, we don't really have a whole lot of room for it though. So maybe it is just that something that's nice and sweet. I could kind of put it in the corner there. Is that fun when you walk in? It's a bit of fun, little table. I mean, if we move the door over a smidge, then that kind of works. Oh yeah, and then my other idea was to have these shelves across here. I know it intersects the curtain there. So we could just move these across and then add another one of these. Loving this cork board, although it is 
up very high. <laughs> Maybe we don't need the cork board. Maybe the gym needs the cork board for our beautiful cork theme in there that we were wanting to go for. <laughs> okay, that just looks random. Maybe these can kind of work together on a wall. They don't look too bad. Oh, and then another idea I had was using these heaters from For Rent because they have really cute colors and they're basically decorative because we could have a purple one and then this room could have a green one. Oh my gosh, so cute. Maybe this room could have a blue one. It's really unnecessary, but it's really cute. Okay, maybe that room doesn't really fit one, but these rooms look cute with them. Oh, we've got the issue again of this shelf what do we put on it all right that will do me for that room love oh i'll also add some fairy lights because they're, they're very cute i have one of these hanging could do a more neutral rug in here because we've got a fun pattern on this bed end oh it can fit a little chair in here oh, and this room we can do the green curtains because it's the green room. Or should we do this over the bed? So it's like super colorful, more fun and out there. So let's go with that. This shelf looks very convincing to me to what a teenager has in their room. <laughs> Just like hair dryer on the desk and rent. Oh, two hair dryers. I need a mirror here. This is definitely a getting ready area as well. Even though they have their own bathroom. Wow, imagine growing up with your own bathroom. One of my friends actually had her own ensuite that she, well, actually she shared it with her sister and we used to get ready in there for parties and it was really nice. And the bathrooms, they can have matching rugs to their bedroom. Oh, oh my gosh, we're almost ready to go through the build and do the final reveal. I just thought before I show you, because there is a new pack coming out, the Crystal Stuff pack. If you are going to get that pack or any other Sims packs from the EA app or the sims.com, you can support me as a creator by using my code word, Deligracy, at the checkout in the promo code section. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Let's check out the build. Okay, so here's our fancy apartment building. So when you walk in the front door, you're greeted with chocolate colors and light woods. And this is very much like the original floor plan in that to our right here is our bathroom. So this is the guest bathroom, very simple. And then if we go around here, this is our lounge room. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And you know what? It's a nice space. It's very trendy, very Pinterest, lots of light colors, funky candles, geometric shapes. And we've got our area over here with the nook for the office. And I really like that we have those uh, divider window things that go into the dining area because you could close them if you wanted to or you can see straight through. Although if this were the real world, there'd be no sound insulation. This is probably my favorite room of the house. And honestly, the kitchen dining is probably what I spent the most time on. But I just think this is quite pretty. We've got our romantic fireplace and our blush kitchen, which I have to say the wallpaper's a little bit off. If I could have matched it exactly to the counters and just made it a little bit more of that dusty pink, I would have, but it's pretty close. Got a lovely kitchen. Do we have everything? Bin, fire alarm, sink, fridge, stove. That's everything, right? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? And we've got a pretty amazing view out there. The curtains look amazing with their uh, crazy paving. Okay, then we begin the long trip down the long hallway, which is a little weird, but I think it's the best I could do. This room is so pretty. This is our purple and yellow room, and it is so cute. Isn't that adorable? The heat is amazing, and I just really love the colors in here, and it's just a very functional room. It's got everything you need, and they're ensuite. Very simple. Basically looks like the other ones, more or less. We'll go down the hallway, the dark ominous hallway. I don't know, I thought the dark was cool, but now I'm not sure, not so sure. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And then this is our green bedroom. Let me know what bedroom you would like. I think I like the purple and yellow, but realistically speaking, I'd probably want the blue one 
because I'd get sick of the purple. But in The Sims, I like the purple the most. So that's very cute. Little get ready station over here. Then the ensuite, more or less the same again, just slightly different colors. So that is super cute. Love these photography dividers. And then we keep going down the hallway. Nice little, little area here. And then we have the main bedroom. So this is just very clean and simple, which seems to be my theme lately with the main bedrooms. Probably because it's what I personally like. I think it's very nice. I changed the side tables to blue from gold. I just thought it looked better and was a little bit different to the other rooms. And then we have this lovely, uh, lovely area right here. I often get asked if I use a shader in my game and I do not. Uh, this is just looking good probably because my computer is a pretty good computer otherwise it's just the game graphics and then we'll go into their bathroom you know what this bathroom's a bit of fun it's got the shower in here it's not the exact seamless curve we're seeing a lot on Pinterest at the moment but you get the idea oh the camera in city living's a bit weird sometimes there we go and we have our lovely bathtub right by the window God, this drives me nuts. Okay, here's just a bird's eye view of it because the camera keeps going crazy. Then last of all, we have our gym. It's a very nice gym, very simple. Complete with our little drink station. Couple of workout machines. We've got our sauna. Heck yeah, our moody sauna in here. And then of course, we have another simple bathroom. So yeah, let me know what you think of this renovation. Do you like it? I will put it up on the gallery for you guys to download. My username is Deligracy. There is no custom content. And when I finished with uh, all of the apartment renovations, I'll upload this as a save file to my website. So you guys can just download it as a complete save file if you're on PC and just have all of the builds in the one spot. Thank you so much to my wonderful members for your amazing support. I hope you're enjoying the weekly videos. You can become a member by clicking the link in the description down below to get one bonus video a week. Behind the scenes updates when necessary. Like when I was sick, I was updating members uh, throughout that time. So you guys knew what was up, like that kind of thing, which I did do publicly as well, that you just get a little bit more info about behind the scenes in general. So thanks you guys as always. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to see y'all soon. Zag Zag!